Hello and welcome back. Today is all about business idea once again. This time you can start a coffee cart in front of your house using instant coffee as base and this is going to be serving only hot drink. In terms of menu, I would suggest that you start with just a few items in your menu, especially the best sellers. And today's menu will be five delicious hot coffee drinks. It will be hot Americano or black coffee and then we're going to make Spanish latte, we're going to make peppermint mocha, we're going to make cappuccino and finally we are going to make caramel latte or caramel macchiato. So only five items on my menu today and this will be in to go cups of eight ounces. So if you're planning to start one, you can start with small cups and then you can start earning money, especially during this time when everyone needs to have some extra income from home. Well, for the ingredients is everything that you see in front of me here. I have my instant coffee. We need milk because there's a lot of latte in here, so we need lots of milk. You can use any milk of your choice. You can even use powdered milk. Just make sure you dissolve it in water. But this recipes here are also in my book, The Basic Barista. In this book, you will find two different ways of preparing instant coffee drinks. For today's recipes, I am going to use the more premium one, which is cafe style instant coffee drinks and that's why I am using fresh milk here. For the ingredients we're going to use coffee, instant coffee and then we're going to use lots and lots of milk because many latte recipes in my menu today and then we are going to use sugar, white sugar or also brown sugar depending on your preference. For the hot black coffee I would suggest you use brown sugar it just tastes better. Then you can use cocoa powder for the mocha and for Spanish latte, we are going to use condensed milk. For the caramel latte, we're going to use caramel syrup. Any brand will do. And because we're going to make peppermint mocha, I'm going to use mint syrup. So that's really all you need to make all these five delicious drinks. So you don't need to stock up a lot of raw materials or ingredients in your cafe or coffee shop. For the equipment, again, very, very minimum requirements. You need a kettle to boil your water. You need a stove top to warm your milk or a microwave if you prefer it that way. And I would also suggest that you use an electric handheld milk frother. This is very good for frothing or foaming your milk. And I would also suggest that you use electric instead of battery operated ones because battery operated ones are not powerful enough to foam the milk and give you that special texture of milk that you're looking for and then you need measuring cups measuring spoons and that's about all you need to start your coffee shop and before i start i am going to first warm my milk because we are going to use our milk frother here do not fill the pitcher to the top just only a third of this pitcher okay so let's start by making our first drink which is black coffee for this i need two teaspoons of my instant coffee and then I'm going to add also two teaspoons of my brown sugar now with instant coffee it could be quite sour so I would suggest you add sugar and then we're going to add our two teaspoons of hot water and then I'm going to use my milk frother here So what you're looking for is to give this a caramel color. Make sure you stir as well. Okay, so this is like a Dalgona upside down. There you go. And then I would suggest that you have a cup with water if you have a cart and then just dip this into there so that each time you just clean it here. Okay, you keep it clean stir just to make sure the coffee and the sugar are dissolved and well combined as you can see the color is beautiful it almost looks like the crema on your coffee now fill it to the top with hot water fill on one side only so as not to disturb your crema And you get a beautifully looking Americano. Now, even if you stir this, it will still look as good. Okay, so make sure you serve it properly. Okay, now the water and the 
coffee and the sugar should mix together and you get that beautifully looking Americano. So there you go, our first drink of the day. That's our hot black coffee. Next on our menu, it is going to be cappuccino. For the cappuccino, I'm going to use warm milk and foamed milk. So I'm going to use my milk brother here. Okay, so now I have my foamed milk here and it's time to make our cappuccino. Two teaspoons of the coffee, one, two, and I'm also going to use brown sugar. You can use white sugar. One, two. The sweetness depends on you. And then our two teaspoons of hot water. So this is two, 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 quite easy to remember. Once again, give it a bit of a stir and then we're going to froth. So just move it around so that you're sure that the sugar will dissolve okay and give it another swirl so you get it there and then now we are going to put our milk so again pour it on one side just to fill it to the top And because this is the cappuccino, we are going to put foam milk on top. Just sprinkle on top with some cocoa powder. And there you have your cappuccino, 8 ounces using instant coffee. Next, let's make hot Spanish latte. So two teaspoons of instant coffee there, and then we need water. This time, I'm not going to foam it. I'm going to design it differently. Now, because this, I am using instant coffee with crema. As you can see, it already has a crema. And then I'm going to add, for Spanish latte, I am going to add my condensed milk one ounce or two tablespoons it's a little bit on the sweet side but you'd like it to be sweet and delicious you can adjust this according to your preferences so here you go stir what i'm showing you here is just a different way of making your drink so if you don't have milk frother and you don't really want to give that thick foam with, with gold crema is good enough and then now I am going to pour my steamed milk okay so I didn't quite make that design I'm, I was aiming for but there is your Spanish latte and if you'd like to give it a little bit of a design then we can use a latte pen. These are for basic baristas. Just some design on the side. This is quite popular, so if you are planning to make this business, I would suggest that you include Spanish latte in your menu. Okay, so there you go, the third drink. Next, it is going to be peppermint mocha. We'll start by putting our instant coffee, which is also two teaspoons, one, two teaspoons of instant coffee. And then for this, I'm going to just use one teaspoon of sugar because the sweetness will also be from the syrup. And then I am going to add two teaspoons of my cocoa powder. So just make sure it's level, so one, two okay and then i'm going to add my hot water to dissolve all these dry ingredients now you can use the milk brother or you can just simply stir 
because I'm going to use a fond milk so this is probably good enough okay and then now I'm going to add my mint I'm going to use two pumps which is about one tablespoon one and a half because I already had half a bit earlier so there you go so I've got this is my coffee mix and now I'm going to put my foamed milk into my mocha mix a little bit of art there okay that's all right for basic barista and this is your peppermint mocha and finally it is caramel latte for this I'm also going to use two teaspoons of my instant coffee and then my hot water okay so two pumps of caramel you can adjust the sweetness according to your preference with instant coffee you'd like it to be sweeter okay so here caramel latte in eight ounces so I have my peppermint mocha whatever this is I've forgotten what they are and I have five hot instant coffee drinks okay so now you can start your own small cafe using instant coffee for your drinks don't forget that instant coffee can be quite sour some of them bitter so don't worry about adding sugar or sweeteners into these drinks as you serve them you don't have to give an extra sugar sachet unless your customers tell you that they like it to be less sweet so you can also make the adjustment i'm going to try one of them which i think is my peppermint mocha mm nice and warm it is not bad well that's all i have for today i hope that this video clip is useful i wish you all the best in starting your cafe especially during the coming months in the meantime if you have any questions do let me know comment below don't forget to click that subscribe button stay tuned for more of these video tutorials i'll see you again next time thank you for watching ciao for now